today I'm going to show you guys how to change your icon icon. Um, it won't be too long, hopefully. Um, basically, all I'm going to show you guys how to do a brief overview is I'm going to show you guys how to make the icons, and I'm going to show you guys how to import them and change them. So I'll start off with making the icons. Um, I'll have a little link that that skips um, tells you where to skip if you want to just skip this part and go straight to the changing if you already have your default icons. So let's go ahead and get started with making your icon. Um, the way to make it is you download these things over here. I've downloaded these two and this one. This is for the default um, art ready-made ones. These ones are not ready-made. There's um, they're PNG files. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and drag one of these. It doesn't really matter. I'll just drag the green one. So I will. Let me go ahead and copy that so it doesn't get lost. Now, once you have the screen.png, uh, go ahead and open it up in preview and save it as an icon. So make sure you change the format to ICNS and then rename it to app hyphen empty and save it to your desktop. Now you can go ahead and delete um, this. Uh, make a copy of this app empty and paste it and then rename it to app. Now, now that you have two of these, uh, one of them has to have a number on it. So make sure the app has the number on it, like 16 or whatever. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the other one, the iCal Thalysa. I'm not sure if you can find the other colors on the website. Um, you may be able to find the other colors on the website so that it'll match perfectly, but I only found the Thalysa one on the website. So um, this is just the whole thing for Thalysa. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to um, see these icons. I'm going to show you a little really quickly. Inside iCal, if you're going to move something, as you can see over here, it shows this icon. That app icon that you see right here is over here, the app. That empty icon is going to be on your iCal, so you're not you're never going to see any of these um, August 14 or whatever the app icon is unless you click on unless this window opens up or you save something inside i or inside um, iCal or something. So this is just the um, the actual app location icon. It does not change. So um, yeah, that's for that. Now once you uh, have your little icon ready over here. You're gonna go ahead and copy any one of these, paste it, and you're going to open it up inside Preview. Now, once you open it in Preview, you're gonna make it a little bit bigger because you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna zoom in. Now, once you've zoomed in, go ahead and go to the um, elliptical selection, and just go ahead and make it a little big enough so that it goes all the way around the 13 and doesn't touch the purple. Now it doesn't matter if it goes out of the 13 area because that's the same thing it looks like this. So you can go ahead and copy that and you're gonna go back to your app um, your um, the one that you made over here, the copy of it, which is app. You're gonna open it up in preview and you're going to uh, paste this icon over here. Make sure you line it up exactly the way it was. So um, that should be right, I think. Now, once you have it exactly in the right spot, it should look just like the other one, except the only difference is that it does not have the little August sign. That's not going to be able to change. You can't add that there um, by making it like that. So. Um, yeah, you're just going to have to deal with this, which isn't that bad. So go ahead and save it. And as you can see, now you have your app and you have your app empty. Now that you have these two icons, you're ready to go. This is the part where um, we can get rid of these things and just start, start um, replacing the icons to the original one.
So let me go and read in this. Oh, actually I actually have it inside here, so. These are the default ones because I made a backup. Make sure you also make a backup of yours and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so this is where, you, now the way to um, change your uh, icon is you go to uh, menu finder window, applications, and you look for your iCal. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click on it and then you're going to go to show package contents. And now once you're in show package contents, um, oh, I just realized another thing. Um, sorry, the uh, main app icon is also going to be showing um, as you drag it around in your Finder. So um, that's where also your main icon will be. But on your dock, it won't be like that. So um, once you're in your uh, contents folder, uh, go to contents and the resources. And now, as you can see, you have. Let's pretend that these are the two default ones, because I already have it changed. To change these default icons, I'm pretending that they're default, you take your new icons that you've previously made or you already have, like these, and you drag them or copy them, I just copied it, I pushed Command-C, and you paste it in it like that. Before you paste it, make sure you back it up. That's what I was saying before. Make sure you back up these icons. Very, 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 not the blue ones. Make sure you back up these red ones, because those are the default ones. Um, and back them up, put it somewhere safe, and name it something that you know. And don't delete them. So um, now that you have these, go ahead and paste them, your new icons. Go ahead and paste them inside. Replace both of them. It'll ask you for your password. It may ask you to authenticate, and just go ahead and do that. And um, another thing you want to do is you want to go to a folder called iCalDocTilePlugin.DocTilePlugin. It may be called iCalDocTileBundle.Bundle or something like that, but um, they're the same folder. So go ahead and go to Contents, Resources, and there will be another app empty icons. Copy this app empty and paste it inside there. Replace it. Type in password and go ahead and relaunch the dock with the terminal and I'll teach you how to do that right now and you type in K-I-L-L-A-L-L -L -L, no space, kill all and then capitalize dock just like that and then as you can see you have this um, little icon over here that says March blah 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 March 2 and it is March 2 today as you can see over here it says March 2 um, so that works like that and over here if I relaunch a finder kill all Finder. I spelled something wrong. Kill all finder. There we go. Once you um, kill all finder, as you can see over here, it changed your icon icon. So there really is not that um, bad bad quality for that. If you want to change the color, um, so if you want to change it back to the um, blue one or the original, change it back to the original. All it seems same, same exact thing as the other way. You just copy it. Then you paste it, and you have your empty icon. So, um, and then what you want to do is you want to go out of resources and back into resources of, of iCal. The other ones we just changed, and you want to put back to normal. Make sure this is renamed too. And you copy them both, and you paste them both. Replace. Type in your password. And um, go ahead and relaunch Finder and the dock. Dock, and then it goes back to the normal. So um, that's how you do it. I'm sorry it took so long, but that is how you change your icon 